All right, so to get your uh, Gmail account connected, there's a couple of things that you need to do. Let's first make sure that um, your Gmail account is set up properly, and then you have and you have the right password and then the right connection details. So first things first, log into your account and go to the settings options on the right hand. It's this little cog, and then click on See All Settings. And as this loads up, you're going to notice a lot of tabs across the top here. Forwarding and pop IMAP. This is what you'll want to click on next. And uh, here we're going to want to enable pop. And we're going to want to enable IMAP. And uh, enabling pop, I believe, is going to get the SMTP as well um, enabled for you. So let's go ahead and save these changes. Okay. I'm going to head back to see all settings, back to the forward, uh, forwarding and pop here. And um, what we're going to want is we're going to want the IMAP access here. So scroll down and open in a new tab the configuration instructions for um, IMAP. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. I right clicked on that. It opened in a new tab. We can see those here. Uh, but let's stay on this one for a moment. Now, next step, now that we have uh, IMAP enabled, we won't get a empty response back from the server. Go ahead and click on the um, the dots here, and uh, we're going to go to your account because the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we get the correct password and make it so that we can connect the program uh, to uh, our Gmail account. Uh, Google doesn't allow you to connect it directly uh, to like third-party apps uh, by default. So let's click on um, I believe that it's security. And as we scroll down, you can see that we've got um, less secure apps under security. So I already enabled this. It's going to say turn on access for you. So go ahead and click this option here, turn on less secure apps. This allows uh, your desktop mail client or any other application to connect to uh, Google. And so once that is on, now we're going to want to get an app password. To get your app password, um, you can't use your primary password to log into your account using any other uh, application. You need to use an app password. So go ahead and go to security after you open up your account here under Google. Then you'll go to security. And uh, you can scroll down to signing into Google and you'll see app passwords. Now, if you don't see app passwords, if your account says that this is not allowed, then the next thing you need to do is you need to enable two-step verification. Once that is enabled, you can click on app passwords and log in here. 